Hey, what's up guys? It's Wraith here with a video, and today I'm working on my personal project. It's a uh, 1996 Nissan Pathfinder SE 4x4 Sport, and uh, basically what I'm currently doing is uh, working on the front end, because uh, before I got it, it was involved in a front end collision, and a uh, steel bumper and plastic pieces and stuff like that were smashed, along with the transmission cooler, which used to be right here. Um, I did a bypass on the transmission because this is a closed circuit um, transmission cooler meaning it's not conflicting with the coolant or the uh, transmission fluid because naturally people would do was when they bypass a transmission cooler a lot of times the coolant and the transmission oil will mix and when that goes to your transmission the chemical imbalance will cause uh, like a massive problem with your transmission. But it's the VG33E 3.3 V uh, liter V6, and uh, yeah. So, but I currently, right now, I'm about to install this uh, radiator hose. I uh, I was soaking it in uh, dish soap, believe it or not, dish soap and uh, water for like two days, and uh, I had already done it previously with this hose, got it all back on and stuff. Um, but yeah, I completely drained out the radiator. Maybe I might run it. I might start it up today. I might not. I don't know. Just because I don't really want to be running it with the hot, hot fluid going to the tranny. You know, because you're not really supposed to run it over 200 degrees. The transmission fluid without the cooler, because this basically this is a tow package. As a tow package means that it's gonna have a transmission cooler. And uh, let me go ahead and show you guys the transmission cooler and how bad this thing was smashed up because it was a CalSonic, which is just some, uh, I believe a Japanese brand. Smashed it up pretty good. And uh, yeah, so basically this thing is running around with no, uh, no transmission cooler. Well, actually I'm not even driving at all. So, but yeah. Um, it, what it needs is, uh, is the lower plastic piece. Be yeah, anybody that, you know, is watching this have a Pathfinder. There's a lower plastic piece that goes here, and then there's the steel bumper piece that goes on. Um, I'm missing the right signal light. I just ordered that along with the lower bumper piece. Let's wait for this truck to pass. But yeah, I got the lower plastic uh, lower bumper piece I got a transmission cooler on the way it's a Hayden 465 model I believe basically it's just a rapid cooler so it's a, it's a pretty big pretty big uh, tranny cooler but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this bad boy filled up with some fluid some water and then uh, I'll go ahead and give it a crank okay so now I got the three year hose on the bottom and on the top connected and now we're gonna go ahead and proceed to filling the radiator. Um, for those of you that use water, you have to use distilled water. Well, actually, I shouldn't say you have to. You should use distilled water because distilled water has no impurities. A regular garden hose has impurities in it, such as uh, particles that run away when you have a hose sitting in the sun. Um, your city's water power plant or uh, water treatment facility may not be completely filler you know what's the word um, filtering your water to a certain uh, standards I would say for a vehicle um, radiator but uh, for this video I'm gonna go ahead and use um, regular garden hose water um, I know I just said you shouldn't but I'm only running it for a few minutes I'm not driving it or anything I'm just running it for a few minutes just to uh, start it up and uh just show show you guys my project a little bit so i'm gonna go ahead and fill it with some garden hose water so now we got it filling up just gonna let it run a little bit fill it with a radiator fluids be mixing around there too it's not a completely clean radiator i didn't do a flush on it i uh Honestly, just got this thing, and I don't, I don't know what the radiator condition is. I mean, everything looks pretty good, you know. This is actually a strong engine. I'm pretty sure they still make it today. So, 
think we might be full. Can't even start this bad boy up. Make sure everything's all clear. Let me check this bypass here. Okay, yeah, it's good. Good, 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 good. Battery is good. Now the cool thing about this is the startup on this thing is actually a little funky. Because um, you come in here, you put the key in. Okay. It is a 4x4, like I was saying, SE 4x4 Sport, which is, you know, of course it's an automatic, but with a 4x4 mode, it has a, you know, all that stuff. Alright, so now, um, everything's in, looks good. I don't know why it's giving me an oil temperature indicator and a brake indicator, and the actual handbrake is down, so I don't know, but... Yeah, the start button is actually over here, so hopefully this thing will start, you know. Let's just go ahead and give this bad boy a start. Oh, man. Come on. Yeah, see? Starts right up. No problem. Though. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, it runs great, perfectly awesome little starter truck, you know. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty much gonna be a sick ass project when it's all done, said and done. But yeah. How's our exhaust looking? It's deep growl. So, I'm yeah, pretty sure it does need an oil change though. It was oil changed at 159 thousandths when it needs. I said oil change, I meant correction. It needs an oil change at 159,000 and that's gonna be in 26 miles. It's gonna need an oil change, so. But I'll probably end up doing it myself. Yeah, I don't know why it's, it's gonna keep dying. see our RPM gauge just keeps dropping so you know it's not not perfect but it needs to work. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this little short introduction to this uh, project series. Um, just the basics. Really going to be all we're doing. Not doing anything heavy. No over serious overhauls or nothing. Not changing anything. Just uh, replacing the bumper, transmission cooler, and a brake light. Or a uh, turning signal light, sorry. So, yep, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys have any questions, just leave any comments, and, uh, I'll do my best to reciprocate with you guys, and, uh, yeah. Make sure you guys give it a thumbs up or thumbs down if you think that this thing is a beast, or it's not a beast, and it's just a hunk of metal with a small engine. So, but yeah, I'll catch you guys in the, uh, the downtime, and, uh, yeah, that's all I got, so...